Hello. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the best way to extract your carpets to get rid of spots. The first step always is to vacuum your carpet. If you don't vacuum a carpet, you'll have a muddy mess you don't want to have to take care of. So step one, vacuum the carpet. Hear that dirt? The next step we want to do is set up your carpet extractor. So we put water in the machine. We have about eight gallons of water in this uh, machine right now. What I want to put in the machine, I never want to put the soap in the machine. What I want to do is a carpet neutralizer in the machine. So I'm using a product called Extraction Rinse. And when you look at the bottle, it says to use one ounce per gallon. So we're going to use one ounce per gallon. So I have eight ounces here for my eight gallons I've got it. And I add that right to the clean water tank. Close it up. Why is it important? Uh, why is it important to not put soap in the machine? because you really want the soap to work on your spots and stains in your dirty carpet and it needs to dwell for five to seven minutes or, or you're not gonna have a great result. So the machine has the water in it, has the neutralizer in it. Um, so I'm gonna put the machine aside. And the next step is to take your, your uh, pump up sprayer and this pump up sprayer has a heavy duty carpet cleaner in it. I'm going to pump it up nice and strong. All right. And I want to, if the camera comes over here, uh, hopefully you can see. We have a big stain in the carpet right here. And I have a stain, a stain, a stain, more stains, more stains. So a lot of stains from food being dropped on this carpet. All right. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pre-spray the entire carpet, but the spots I'm going to juice with a little more. All right? So I'm going to pre-spray the carpet. Pre-spray the carpet. Get to the spot. A little extra juice goes on the spot. I come back here. I can see all the spots that need a little extra juice. So I cover the entire carpet, and this process, you need to let it sit for five to seven minutes. If you don't let it sit, it will not clean properly. All right, so we're just doing a section here. So we're done with the pump-up sprayer. We've done a section of this carpet, and uh, we'll be back in five minutes. So we've had about five or six minutes here to let this uh, solution that we put on the carpet dwell and do its thing, uh, emulsify that dirt. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about. When you're doing an area, um, it's one great procedure, one great way to do it is to picture frame the area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the borders of where we put the chemical and then I'll fill in in between. Um, Another very, very important thing that you always want to do when you're uh, using an extractor is always move away from where the machine is plugged in. So I want to start over here. The machine's plugged in right back there. So I want to start and always move away from that cord. Um, uh, when you're picture framing, it's a little more difficult to do that. But then when we do the fill in and clean in between, you'll see us do that. All right, and the next step is on the cord, safety with the cord is to put the cord, um, 
I'm a lefty. Put this right on my belt. That keeps the cord out of the way and under full management. All right, so we're gonna put the carpet extractor over to about where we started. And I'm gonna turn it on, it's gonna make some noise and we'll picture frame around the area I wanna clean and then we'll go in on main switch, water pump, then vacuum. See the dirt coming up into the to the carpet here. It's filthy. Kind of see how clean that is, where it just went. See the night and day. See in front of me? So we extracted the carpet and uh, we went all over this area and it was just covered and spots all over and all of these spots are gone and there's actually one small spot that I can still see. So now is the opportunity to get a specialty spotter and just mark that spot and work it, agitate it, Make sure you pull the spot together as you agitate it. Let that chemical sit for a few more minutes. And then we come back with our carpet extractor and clean that out. If we had spotted every single spot on the carpet, it would have taken us all day. But by pre-spraying with a good cleaner, the entire carpet, 99% of the spots come out. One spot didn't come out 100%. And we can come back and get that now after the fact.